Guess who's back? Back again. Mikey's back. Tell a friend. Hey everybody, here we are with another video for you guys today. And today we're going to be taking a look at my Lion Knight slash Crusaders army. But before I go any further, let me just say, if you like this video or any of the videos on the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be getting into my Lion Knight slash Crusaders army after the intro coming in now. And we're going to start this army tour by taking a look at my Camelot Castle. This is my massive castle in my LEGO Castle display. It encompasses the 90th Anniversary Lion Knight's Castle, the Kingdom's Joust set, as well as the 2009 uh, Castle. And then I mocked together some other stuff to make it a complete fortress. And this is where my Lion Knights stay. And here is a look at my Crusaders, because I prefer to call them Crusaders. Um, just a little overview at some of the different kinds of ranks and characters and stuff that we're going to be getting into here. All the different kinds, uh, all from classic 80s all the way up into modern day and everything in between. We'll, you'll see a little bit in this uh, army here, because you know I've been collecting these guys for a long time. And you can see my King Arthur there in the center, as well as my Knights of the Round Table. And we're going to start here by taking a look at my soldiers. These are the grunt guys. Uh, you know, they, they just kind of do as they're told. And, you know, I have a lot of different, you know, we got axemen, bowmen, crossbowmen, infantry, and we're just look at this guy. He's the one tooting the horn, and there's his little post up there. And then these guys, uh, these are royal knights, and um, they are actually kind of like my guard on, on the bridge to keep people out. And then these axemen here, they're on the inside of the castle. And they are on just kind of at their post, keeping guard, make sure no uh, intruders are breaking in. And then these guys, you know, my spearmen, they have different kind of spots and posts throughout the castle and everything. Uh, they, you know, serve different purposes. And you can see, uh, you know, where they go and some idea of the different posts that they man and everything like that. And then here's my crossbowmen. Uh, my, my crusaders only have two crossbowmen. Um, and I actually have them on the east wall um, on these gatehouses, keeping the bad guys out. And then now look at our regular bowmen, our long bowmen. And these are made up of different kinds of lion knights over the years. Um, the new ones as well as some of the you know older ones and everything and I always put them in the high up posts You know so they can get a good shot if need be to keep any intruders out So they're up in the high towers and then here's our infantry and The main guy here. He's a classic uh, black knight and then I have a classic crusader here. He's another member of my infantry. And there he is, there's his post. And then here is one of my Knights Templar collectible minifigure. And she's over here on, on that wall. And so now let's take a look at my Knights of the Round Table. All my different knights. You know, these are the big bad voodoo daddies. And there is King Arthur. And he is holding uh, the Sword of Gryffindor, which I made into my Excalibur. And this is the coolest sword I have found in LEGO as of yet. And there is the horse and horse barding that he rides. And of course, Camelot Castle is his kingdom. And there's a look at it. And then here is these two guys. They are a couple of classic Black Knight Knights. They're not 100% complete. They need different helmets and plumes. And then here is some of the collectible minifigures from a couple of years ago. Um, and I turned them into the Knights Templar. And they, there is their post. 
And then here is another classic Black Knight. He is almost 100% complete except for his plume. And there he is standing around the Knights of the Round Table. And then here is my Garwin. Um, and there he is. And then here is Sir Kay, King Arthur's stepbrother. And there he is on his horse and barding. And there he is around the round table. And then here is Joan of Arc. She is the leader of my Knights Templar. And there is the horse that she rides. She was the original queen that came in the 90th anniversary castle. But I gave her this castle on the western front to command. And here is my Percival. And he is a classic black knight. And he is almost 100% complete. All he needs is the correct plume. Um, and he will be good to go. And there he is at the table as well. And then here is my Lancelot. Because, you know, you got to have a Lancelot a lot and here's the horse that he rides he rides a, a more of a modern horse and there he is at the table as well and then here is Sir Ector he is King Arthur's stepfather and there he is at the table and now we're gonna take a look at like my royalty like ruling class of my crusaders faction and of course there is king arthur and he is a maglamation of a few different kings throughout the years i'll get into more detail a little bit later in the video and there he is at the table and there is queen guinevere and she was from the collectible mini figure line there she is. And then here is Princess Elizabeth. She is their daughter. And there she is at the table up there in the castle. And then here is their son, Prince Wart. I, I just call him Wart, you know, from Sword in the Stone. And there he is with the yellow castle in his bedroom. And there is Merlin the Wizard, and he is basically the original Magisto, just with a different head and a cape added. And there he is at the table. And then there's Joan of Arc again, a little bit more of a look at her. And there she is at her post, because she commands the Western Front. And then here is Prince John. He is actually kind of a collectible minifigure uh, king. I just added a little bit to him, changed him up a bit. And then here is the Sheriff of Nottingham. Because, you know, if you have Prince John, you have to have the Sheriff of Nottingham. Keep your eye on him. And then here is a jester, because of course every royal court needs a jester. And there he is. And I actually have a few different jesters here. Um, just wanted to show them real quick. And then of course this is the you know they have to have some you know weapons, some siege weapons, and that's their weapon there. And then, as far as our King Arthur goes, we're getting another look at him real quick. I wanted to show you guys the other kings I have in my collection. Here's this king. Um, he came really close to being my King Arthur. I like this king a lot. Um, he's my second favorite. And then here is some of uh, leftover parts that I had that I just kind of put together on this king. And then here is a classic Royal Knights King I have as well. Well, there it is, folks. That's my video for guys today. And if you're a big fan of Castle, you know, definitely like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next one. Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget, we got merch store. If you want to take a little piece of the show with you, you can get it right here. We got everything. You want some Mikey J stuff? We got the Mikey J Productions for you. So take a chance and stop by. We'll take care of you.